<laughs> Previously on the Fisayo Explores Kenya. About our breakfast in the bush, as you can see, I'm walking through the bush. I don't know, I think we are currently in Kenya, not Tanzania anymore. But what if what if an animal comes and meets us? Would it be part of the experience? Or you guys will say, I told you so. My mom will say, I told you so. Anyways, here we go, here we are. It's a fun experience. Ooh, see poo on the floor. So enjoy this video and go watch the previous episode if you haven't. Lastly, please do subscribe. Hi all liars, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Fisayo and I'm a tourism development advocate. I tell stories promoting the destinations I visit, inviting you to my world of travel, and giving you insight on what needs to be improved in some African destinations so that Africans can position ourselves to be number one tourist destination in the world. Enjoy this video. As you can tell, your girl looks tired. It has been a long day. We had a breakfast in the bush if you watched the previous episode. So Christine works at KTB. Thank you, Christine. Hello. You're welcome. <laughs> I had a flight to Nairobi. It was about one hour to two hours flight or less. I can't remember anymore. And yes, right now, we just got back to the hotel. I'm waiting for every other person that traveled to other destinations. After a little rest in the hotel, we went out for a dinner at Tempayaki. I was super surprised to see Tempayaki in Kenya. The first time I saw Tempayaki was in America. So it was dope to see that they have a branch here in Kenya on the African continent. Hey, guess we just saw Tempayaki in Kenya. Over here, that's, that's Tempayaki right there. I have a Mavini Cups. Hey, guess we just saw Tempayaki in Kenya. Hey, so guys, we're going for dinner now at Coco. Okay, let me not model that name. So here we are. Some days after this, during the Magical Kenya Travel Expo, we went to the Giraffe Center and it was awesome! Hi guys, so we're presently at the Giraffe Park in Kenya. Welcome to my channel. This is your first time here and subscribe if you're here too. How about you? So let's see how it goes. So guys, we're at the giraffe center and we have some giraffes right here. Okay, let me get a pair of you. Mm. Look at them right there. That I'm this close to the giraffe is hilarious. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm looking for more. Guys, see how big it is. Like, God is wonderful. God is wonderful. So, we started in 1979 because the number of the last child giraffe 
had begun to go down with only 120 left. So there was very urgent need for conservation. And what the farmers did is that they took two giraffes of the same subspecies and they put these giraffes in their home. And they started to give off donations to begin a center like this one. So people were very kind enough to support them. And when they got the donations, they began giraffe center as a breeding site for the Rothschild giraffe. They are not injured, they are not orphaned, they are not rescued, but they are purposely here for breeding. And how the breeding program works is that the adult giraffes stay here. But then the baby giraffes eventually go back into the wild at the age of three years. Yes? So the species of giraffe is just one, but we have several subspecies. And in Kenya, we only have three. And the first one is the Rothschild giraffe. The difference between this giraffe <coughs> and the others is because this one does not have any markings from the knee downwards. It is white. And it is the most endangered. And right now we have 400 of the Rothschild giraffe. It's not many, but it is better than 120. And 80 of these individuals have been born in giraffe center. We have the Maasai giraffe. This one has like a star-shaped pattern, and the patterns go all the way down to the hooves. You find it below the equator, Maasai Mara, Amuseli, Savo, down here. That is the southern part of Kenya and the northern part of Tanzania. So when you go to Serengeti, you also find the Maasai giraffe. Population right now is approximately 12,000. And then lastly, we have the reticulated giraffe that has like a box shape pattern. Mm. And the patterns go all the way down to the hooves. That's when you find it above the equator. When you go to Sambu, <coughs> when you go to Lewa or Vegeta, you are likely to find a reticulated giraffe. Mm, but their tongues are black. See me taking up a recording, but not like it. Daisy. <laughs> Daisy wants it all. In India, it was like a big. What's your metabolism? Are they get hungry easily or what? No. Remember, in a day, they need to feed up. They can feed up to 65 kilograms. Wow. Of food, yeah? So, this is just a treat. <laughs> <laughs> so, they feed yeah. on this or what? Grass? The main diet are the leaves Sorry. and the grass. Okay. So, mm -hmm. their browsers are the same time pleasant. <laughs> Don't attack. All of them have different personalities. Okay. This one, Daisy does not like kids. Yeah. It's not like children. <laughs> that one we call Salma. Salma, please don't go on her side. Feed her from the front. Yeah. Okay. Because she usually swings don't the like neck. Children. Okay. Yeah. Don't the neck pain them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So we're learning how to make alternative foil using paper. Right now, that's paper, apparently. Just paper, right? Paper sawdust. Okay. And some charcoal dust and some particles of soil. Paper sawdust, charcoal dust, and, and some particles of soil. Particles of soil, and yes. you just put it inside mix water. them all together, and yes. water is gonna be alternative to charcoal. You're about to show us how and it's gonna be done Firewood. using this wow. clamp. Look at that. So take all your so paper you, and shred it. You compress it. Make something like that to take away all the all water. excess water. Okay. Now a young girl, <laughs> like in the Garama Jungs. <laughs> so okay. maybe, okay. Know, maybe you can try it if you can. Yeah. Can I try? Yes. Yeah, you should. What, what lift? Yeah, so mm -hmm. lift it and just take it down and compress it. <laughs> oh, it feels Prada, like a lot strong. of work, really. Strong, Carla. Maybe more power, just, more power. Maybe I just <laughs> <laughs> swing with it. Yeah. Okay. Until when? When do you stop? Yeah, so when you okay. there's still water on top. Okay. Lift it up. Mm -hmm. so, this one goes in. so when you see it's dry, uh -huh. you can just come closer and look. Oh, wow. When you see it starting to get dry like this, mm -hmm. you can take it out. Okay. So you lift down here like this. Oh. And you have your bricket. Oh wow. Just so like with that. that now, this is what you take carefully. Okay. You take it carefully down out like this <laughs> and you let it.
As you can see, there's a lot of tourists over here. I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> So outliers, it was time for me to feed the giraffe and I was super scared. This was my first take of feeding the giraffe. See, that's how I got scared by the giraffe. <laughs> it was quite freaky, it was quite weird. And it was cool too, to be able to experience that. Anyways, we are done now. I don't know, where's the rest of the team? Where's the rest of the team? Yeah, you should try it. <laughs> well, I guess it's like the only park that have a giraffe um, for exhi I call it exhibition because other giraffes are in the wild, so you can't go close to them. And so you can't even go past the line right here. You can only just go as far as what I did. What do you think of? <laughs> would you do the same? <laughs> what do you think of this? Um, if you like this video, please like and share with your family and friends. Subscribe also. And until next time, don't forget to stay awesome, stay inspired. Peace. All up, all up, all up. Don't go anywhere yet. This is what you'll be getting this week on the Visaya Express Kenya. See you this week. <laughs>